Sometimes saving a relationship means going to see a couples therapist, but what if one half of the couple won't go? This week, Bonds columnist Elizabeth Bernstein looks at why men refuse to go to couples therapy. Why is it that men are resistant to go to therapy? What'd you find out? Well, there's many reasons. Uh, men are sort of raised not to talk about their problems, and they also think that talking about them is a female issue and that women are going to be very much better at it. Women read the self-help books. Women watch Oprah. Uh, so they think that they're also being cursed to go sit there. Now, Elizabeth, how much of this is on us? How much of it is us just approaching it the wrong way when we ask you know, the other half of the couple to go with us to couples therapy? Exactly. You mean on women? Uh, often women berate their husbands or their partners, and they're telling them, you know, you're shut down, you don't talk enough, you're not doing this, that, and the other thing right, you need to do this for me. So all of that, you know, I'm, I'm leaving if you can't do those, those are horrible things to tell somebody, and so I'm probably going to bring up more resistance. So a lot of it is uh, the way that a woman is approaching, yeah. Yeah, I can't really imagine that's very inspiring for the man to hear. So how do you get the man to take responsibility and say, okay, yes, I will go do this? Get to really include yourself as well. So uh, a woman or a partner who is less reluctant, wants to go to therapy, should say, you know, hey, I, I really think this would be good for us. Uh, we, we need to do this. I'm willing to look at myself as well. It's not all uh, what you're doing wrong. And also, um, if you're talking to a man, you might want to use male-friendly language. You know, come on, we need to tune up. You know, we need an oil change. We need to work on this. Now, it's not just getting them in the door, though. Once you get them into the therapist's office, you have to kind of get them to open up and talk about your problems. So if you're a therapist, what are some tips for them to kind of make men feel more comfortable and make sure everyone's getting the most out of this? Sure, therapists really need to uh, make sure that they're not just focusing on the woman. Many, many times the man feels, if I go to therapy, I'm going to be ganged up on. Therapist is going to take my wife's side of this, and you know, I'm going to be told everything she's telling me. I'm not doing well. So therapists needs to, many therapists have bring in the man first few sessions, and they ask him, frustration. You, know, you must feel like you're doing everything, and you're not getting uh, any success here. What is it that you're upset about? All right, Elizabeth, really interesting take. People can read more about that in your column in tomorrow's WSJ.